saw a way out for Tottenham. It's a dangerous move by Gascoigne. Everton traditionally strong in midfield over the past few years. Vanden Howe. Oh, and it's a chance for Sharp, or it would have been, but he was offside. And indeed, it was the typical lack of self-thought. Graham Sharp was steering it across goal to try and get Cotty to finish it off. It was a flighted chip by Vanden Howe, but Sharp standing there was offside, and Cotty missed the target in any case. header he's not known for that although he's certainly headed a couple of significant goals in the past that he'll tell you about at length if you give him the opportunity <laughs> what can uh, what Gascoigne come up with here there's plenty of talk about it but Gascoigne's not really getting a look in at the free kicks at the moment. And he's joined the posse in the centre. And beating him to it was Paul Stewart. But not beating Southall. That was a very flighted ball again from Waddle that Stewart did well to reach, in all honesty. If you get the feeling here that victory isn't very important, it's very understandable. Stephen. Bracewell. But now there might be something on for, Nevin, for Everton with Nevin against Butters. Still Pat Nevin. Bracewell. And it's Shinny! And that was beautifully built up by Everton. The shot was better that time from Shinny, but it was the outside of the goal. Nevin. He's dander up, and that's a pass that has Stewart sprinting away, Watson's come across. Walsh has got into the centre, Stewart driving on here. And excellent play by Trevor Stephen in the Everton cause. sure the ball was his. Tottenham do look much more secure playing this way. The sweeper was an inventive thought by an inventive manager here, Terry Venables, but the players somehow never felt fully in tune with it. Walsh looks to chip Southall. A brilliant goal. Coming in the 69th minute. And Paul Walsh beats a high-class goalkeeper with a wonderful shot. The player who doesn't really score as many as his ability decrease he should has made his mark on this match. his fourth of the season and as we said earlier if only he took the responsibility of shooting more often he would surely get many many more that was a classic Terry Venables 
hoping that the home season will come to an end with another win. McDonald. And now there is a stoppage because Nevin is offside. The number eight board is held aloft. A little shake of the head from Gascoigne. Possibly a precautionary move. Spurs still have two away games at Millwall and Queen's Park Rangers. The replacement is Vinny Samways. Sheedy and Bracewell go off in a double. Everton substitution, on comes Stuart McCall into midfield and Wayne Clark will try and spearhead the Everton quest for an equaliser here. Chance for his second, and Samways with his first touch. Well, Southall survived it. Walsh wanted too long, and in fact, uh, Samways couldn't squeeze it in either. The Spurs so close to a second. Waddle takes the corner. Southall comes to fist it off the head of Guy Butters. Well, Waddle uh, only onside because they kept players on the line. It's another Tottenham corner. But a moment or two ago we just saw Paul Walsh with really perhaps what's been his problem in terms of scoring goals he had the chance to take the shot early which he did when he scored but he wanted to make absolutely sure the second time and uh, Snapper was able to smother Cute. and Southall makes the save look simple even though the ball came to him on the half volley Sharp and Cotty in the Everton bid here to get something from this game. Clark, McDonald, that's Nabbott's head end. It didn't go too far, but he was. Alert enough to collect the ball himself. Stewart getting in front of Watson. And trying to get in behind him now, and he's done that. And it was Waddle who couldn't round it all off. But Stewart did superbly. The goal has opened up the game. resolution here from Stewart was most commendable and it was just too high for Waddle to convert with the header Stewart Ratcliffe staying with him and uh, I think Stewart was aware that he didn't have the pace to get beyond Kevin Ratcliffe so it was worth a crack chase that but uh, Stewart had just been left a little breathless after his last run plenty of air in the lungs though of Paul Allen Clark 
this is Pat Van den Hal. Cotty. Watson. The dummy by Stephen. Sharp thread in there. So too is Stephen again. And it is a corner. And Hewton responding to some criticism there of his team from his teammates who were uh, asking him why he didn't play the ball earlier. Stephen. Watson goes up. Sharp might have a shot here. Graham Sharp. It's drilled in by Neil McDonald. 1-1. One, one. Seven minutes left. Everton with numbers there. And eventually the ball broke for McDonald. And a similar goal ready to Paul Walsh's. Just placed by McDonald across Torsvet and into the corner. Tottenham 1, Everton 1 and the full complement of substitutions now because just after the goal Tottenham brought on Naeem in place of Allen to play on the right hand side of midfield for the six minutes or so that remain. the right back is third for Everton Sam Wells Stewart to his left and Walsh and Sam Wells made the wrong decision really and Tottenham certainly had the chance to put the match beyond Everton before the equaliser particularly when Walsh got in so close to Southall but couldn't get the ball past him a second time Perhaps a draw would be an appropriate result. But all credit to the players who've gone out and given the most interesting game, which has been conspicuous for the quality of the midfield play and for two excellently taken goals. The score of one helping Watson. Got it. Came to Hutton. What's stepping in firmly? Still time though for a chance to be created to turn one point into three for one side or the other. Cotty he never loses his appetite for goals. Torsvet was moving off his line to narrow the angle there for Cotty. May. Waddle. Time 
really for defenders to take a safety first policy. You know, Tottenham uh, wanting to look progressively forward. Butters looking to pick out Stewart but only finding the head of McDonald. again and that got that handball by Trevor Steven it didn't matter in that Tottenham retained possession Stewart and it falls for Walsh can he get there before Southall he has done he scored again in the last minute Stewart made it happen with the first shot. It couldn't have ricocheted better for Walsh. And he took it early and crisply this time. And Tottenham have a lead now. And they haven't got to defend it for long. Having lost the one goal advantage. 2-1 up. Everton trying to press here. former Liverpool player has had a significant say against Everton Sam Ways. he's nicked it away from McDonald the crowd wanting the ball to be played across Sam Ways, I think was a little bit more concerned about just keeping the ball and using up some time but he can cross it now if he wants and he doesn't want to do it now he finds David Howells Everton being asked to chase the ball we've had a minute of stoppage time Tottenham finish their home programme with a win. The records will show that Paul Walsh scored twice and for Everton, Neil McDonald replied. Everton will be pleased to get the game over with. They're very disappointed to lose right at the last. But in truth, the result is very much secondary on a day when the thoughts of everyone in here have been still distracted from the action that they've been watching. All credit to both sides for putting on such a display. The players, I'm sure, will be glad to have got the game over with. Tottenham would have gone round to say thank you to their fans after this game because it has been their last home match. But there's a little more to it now. Everyone in football linked by their emotions this week. Friend and foe. Linked in their horror at the Hillsborough disaster. And this is an encouraging sight at a time when football needs all its fellowship. Tottenham take their salutes. A final score at White Hart Lane. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Everton 1.